you have the right to know the potential benefit of any intervention. For example, Pfizer reported that its vaccine shows a 95% efficacy. That sounds like it protects you 95% of the time, right? But that's not actually what that number means. That 95% refers to the relative risk reduction, but it doesn't tell you how much your overall risk is reduced by vaccination. For that, we need absolute risk reduction. In the Pfizer trial, 8 out of 18,198 people who were given the vaccine developed COVID-19. In the unvaccinated placebo group, 162 people got it, which means that even without the vaccine, the risk of contracting COVID-19 was extremely low at 0.88%, which the vaccine then reduced to 0.04%. So the net benefit, or the absolute risk reduction that you're being offered with a Pfizer vaccine is 0.84%. That 95% number? That refers to the relative difference between 0.88 and 0.04%. That's what they call 95% relative risk reduction. And relative risk reduction is well known to be a misleading number, which is why the FDA recommends using absolute risk reduction instead. Which begs the question, how many people would have chosen to take the COVID-19 vaccines had they understood that they offered less than 1% benefit? So 